All right, guys. It is absolutely freezing outside. It's basically a blizzard. I've already been out once and parked the tractor over here. Uh, I couldn't hardly see this morning because it was blizzarding so bad, but the drain's working really good. <clears throat> that thing was covered in snow earlier. But I'm gonna try to get you guys set up for the shot. I think we got around 10 inches of snow. Um, let's take a look here. Like I said, really windy. A couple snow drifts. Hold on. All right, guys, I ran out of batteries last night while uh, pushing the rest of that snow, but we got, the, we got power back on at about nine, actually it was about seven o'clock. Um, so we were only without power for about three hours. Oh, let's come up here and see if I can see out. That looks a lot better. I'll take you guys out there and uh, get you a better look. Looks like we drifted in just a little bit, but not terrible. <laughs> that was a lot of snow to move for that little Kubota. Um, what else? So I've got my mother-in-law up up at uh, her house that is pretty buried right now. There's a few drifts on the way up there. So I'm going to try to go get those drifts busted through and try to get her vehicle dug out so that she can get to work. So that's the plan. Let's head up there and do it. So we got a pretty monster drift there. Pretty monster drift there. That's the car that we gotta get out. Oh, this is pretty hard. This is gonna be a big one. Yikes. And then that drift over there. And then all this. Whew. This is gonna be pretty deep.
This was the end of the first snowstorm that came through here in Midwest Iowa. And the, the BX23S and the snow pusher handled it pretty well. Um, I didn't have too many issues. There was a lot of back and forth, get a run for it. There were times I had to go into rabbit or the into high speed road gear just to get a run at something and push it hard. Um, but two days later, we got another snowstorm and we were supposed to get another four to eight inches and it was supposed to get extremely cold and then the wind was supposed to blow extremely hard so we last night it got down to negative 45 with the wind chill and i think the wind was blowing around 40 40 miles an hour and some of these upcoming shots here you could just see how hard the wind was blowing and how much snow it was blowing around so i had to make a trip into town to get more fuel so i had i was kind of against the racing against the clock of almost running out of fuel um, and getting unstuck. I was down at the end of the driveway with uh, very little fuel left in the tank. It was on E, and I was just hoping that I could get it done and be able to get out. And I still had to bust through one drift with the truck just to be able to get uh, out to the highway. So this was a, a big test that I, I wish I had a little bit bigger of a tractor or a skid loader to be able to move this snow around so here's all the footage for that
<laughs> so I just went out for the third time today and because my feet were getting so cold every time that I would, they would go numb, I would come in, warm up, and then go back out. Well, I got everything cleared out, as you saw, good enough to get into town, get some more diesel, but I didn't get um, any power service to put in it, and I just went out for the last time tonight, and she started to gel up on me. So I limped it back into the garage. It died on me when I was just about into the shop, and... I waited for a few, like about a minute, and it started back up, and I pulled it. I was able to limp it into the, it was, it was running like crap, you know, the, it was really shaking a lot, idling down, and, uh, but I got it into the shop, so it's, uh, it's, it's thawing out, but the issue is <laughs> I got a bucket full of snow, so hopefully all that goes down into the drain right there. And yes, you can see there's it's just covered in snow. Like it's not covered, it's all frosted up. It's just absolutely frigid cold out. Like it's so cold that it condensated and now it's freezing, everything is freezing onto it. So I'll let her thaw out a little bit overnight and try again in the morning because holy cow. This is brutal. This is, I'm, I'm, I'm afraid to say it, but I think the BX met its match. <laughs> I hope everybody else is having a smooth go at moving snow this snowstorm here in the Midwest, but uh, I'm, I'm struggling. Luckily, we've got Monday off, so I think I'm going to be pushing snow tomorrow and then Monday too, but I need to get some power service, so. I'm sure everything will be drifted back in, so hopefully the father-in-law has some power service I can dump in there, because I used the last of mine and I didn't buy any more, so that's pretty awesome. But uh, that's going to do it for this one. Um, I'm going to, on the next one, I'll, maybe I'll do part two on trying to get the rest of it all cleaned out and cleared out, but uh, I appreciate you watching this one. Um, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it if you did. And uh, we'll see you on the next one.